Well, sometimes the hardest part of doing a craft project is dragging yourself to the craft store to buy all the necessary supplies. But crafting doesn't have to be expensive or complicated. And joining us today is Charlotte Smith. She's the blogger of Cibervanity.com. Welcome. Thank you for being here Thank this you. morning. I love so, coming. before we get to everything on the table, I want to wish you a, a, a congratulations Thank is you. in order. Thank Tell you. the viewers why. I am in this month's Better Homes and Gardens, so it's the March issue. Wow. It's on stands now. And you keep saying you're on the last page, but the nonetheless, page, it still uh, counts. You are still in the magazine. It's a feature called I Did It, so right, it's a piece of furniture. Good. Well, congratulations that I, on that. You. It's so, been we're going to be talking about some crafting things exactly. today. We're going to start down this end of the table. Put me to work. I want to craft. Well, first, I'm going to do a little show and tell. This first project is just an old glass container, and believe it or not, I was able to embellish it with just nail polish. And the nice thing is that these are all those colors that you use once and then. And then you don't use them. I yeah. only had, I, not that I can relate to that. I only but. had to come in to stop Brian from painting his nails. Brian, don't paint your nails on TV, man. We'll I do know, it after. I have to stop doing that. And this will not be dishwasher safe, so don't do it on anything that you're going to wash a lot. But I think okay. it makes it look more interesting. So if you have like these glass jars lying around yeah. and you want to, you know. This is, it, is this from a candle? No, but it could be. Great idea. Yeah, because it, lo it looks just like the ones. Sam, from you have candles. craft in your blood. See, maybe you should be doing this. Not really. No, I'm not <laughs> so this is a little trade secret in the blogging world. This is called washi tape, and it's basically colored masking tape. Huh. It used to be sort of the specific thing, but now I found some of these in Walgreens. It's everywhere. It looks like electrical tape, kind of. Well, it's much thinner, and the nice it thing is, is that it doesn't leave a film. So you'll see a lot of people doing this on their walls. So if you rent, wow. you could do this on your walls. I've done it on um, white laminate furniture. Furniture, just to make it look in, like in a kid's room. Mm -hmm. Just to give it like a, some design yeah, or something. Yeah, and it won't ruin it. So here's All the right. show and tell. Let's do it. Put a I little like shaving this. cream on the plate. Go this ahead. is actually. Wait, not face, Brian. Yeah, not your face. How much is a little? Like fill the plate. Have you ever put whipped cream like, on, or uh, shaving cream yep. on anything before? It's because I'm holding it. What do you mean? And so this? we're going to make this marbleizing. And marbleizing is big now. It's really on trend. Marbleizing. Who That's perfect. Who Sam over here anyway? I so Sam, smooth it out. Gotcha. Okay, will do. Yep. With my shaky hands. So you just put it right on the you plate put it and right then you on. smooth it out. Okay. And then you're going to drizzle. I'll do the next part. You'll drizzle a little paint. And then this is where you can have fun. If you just, you see how you're already getting a little bit of a marbleized pattern? Oh, yeah. And this is something that you I have just laying around. What is that, what is that right there it. that you have? This, this is, is like craft paint, paint. But if you don't have craft paint, old latex house paint should work. All right. And Make then sure the next step, I have, this is just heavy paper, but computer paper will work. So you press it down, uh -huh. you peel it off. It looks like a disaster. You're thinking, why is this lady here? Okay, that, that was actually the thought that I had. And in then my head I'm really person. scraping it, and I'll hold it up so you can see. Oh my goodness, that looks but awesome! When, wow. That's awesome looking. That's pretty cool. Because at first you would think you're going to take the paint off and everything, but you, you don't. don't. Oh wow! Very that, that's, cool. that ugly thing that we just did. That's look that's at you. Really you can nice. take this home. This could be you could photocopy. Nice. So this is a great project for the kids, and then you can yeah. frame it, put it in their room. That's wow, a great that idea. It's fun. Wow. Nice. All right. Um, so next, I'm a new fan of freezer paper. This tells you the excitement level of my life. <laughs> that's totally okay. <laughs> yeah, freezer paper is similar to wax paper. It just doesn't have that waxy on both sides, oh, which okay. is important because you take your freezer paper, you can cut out any shape. Mm -hmm. This is sort of the only reason I use my iron. You're going to iron this on, and you can see that it sticks. All right. And so now you can go in with your paint, and you oh, can... Oh, you just fill it in. And then this is a little bit fancier. Wow, that's really nice. So you so can it's put a nice, designs right on these dish towels yeah, it's or a any nice sort way of hand to make towel. Stencils. And again, you can use any paint. I happen to have fabric paint, which just has a medium that mm -hmm. keeps it a little more flexible. What's nice is that a lot of these things are things that you can, as long as you set it up, little kids can do this. And kids could do it yeah. too, kids right? Kids can do that easily, no problem. I mean, this is the this shaving is, cream one. Is, yeah, this I is right. can do it anyway. Mind, like, mind blown. It is, it is. Like, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, what else? So this, I had some old pillowcases lying around, and rather than trash them, I just took a Sharpie and I wrote some lyrics on it. And I think it looks sort of cool, and you can dream about Lady Gaga or whatever you have I was going to say, Brian's do, doing Baby Got Back or something like yeah, that. Yeah, you know. <laughs> and then last but not Again, least. who invited him to this segment? No, I... <laughs> <laughs> Last but not least, these are just old glass containers similar to that. Mm -hmm. um, I just took some more craft paint. You can drizzle it in. You can drip them around. Some people just will fill it and then 
dump it and get the drips. But it's a nice way, if you have old pickle jars or something, it's just yeah. a nice way to look, make it look a little more interesting. And if you um, need some like accents for a room and you're, you exactly. have a specific yeah, color, you can do that. So really, yeah. with this and even the jar over there, I mean, it's, it's repurposing things that you probably right. have lying around and you don't know what to do with. And what have you got to lose? Exactly. I mean, that's my sure. attitude. Fearless crafting, people. Fearless crafting. I like this right here, too. I mean, you wouldn't put your innermost secrets on the pillow for yeah. everyone to read, but still, mm -hmm. it's a great idea. Congratulations again, by the way, and, and being in the magazine. Thank you. That's it's really, been really, really nice. exciting. I know a lot of great ideas, and people can get all this at your website. Yes, your blog. and it's on your website also. It's on both places. And what, right. is, what is your website's name again? Suburbanity. Okay. So it's city, suburb, sanity. Mm -hmm. All into one. All into one. Fun. All right, very good, Charlotte. Thank you so much. A lot of great <laughs> ideas. We love. We love the shaving. This cream was thing, cool. So this we're gonna really have to go cool. home and do it. Yeah. For more information, just go to wtnh.com. Click the on-air tab and pull down to the Good Morning Connecticut weekend section. Okay.